Hello, and we are back. Can you please repeat? Okay, the repeat button's being done. It's um, unusual to see someone so happy around here, especially considering the current situation. <laughs> Why should I be sad now? There have always been wars, disease, tragedy. There always will be. That's an unusual way of seeing things in these trying times. I don't see why I should shed a tear for another man's woes. I'm healthy, and I intend to stay so. Um. I don't know. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? I had the wrong button. Nobody saw that. A lot of people are talking about this Colossus. Perhaps I should look into him. Mr. Bates. Evening, Doctor. Since I took an oath to help people, can I be of assistance? Well, seen better days, that's for sure. But it was bound to happen with all these refugees about. Infecting you is probably the last thing on these people's minds. I need to make everybody healthy in any case. so that what? the place can you be give me good. this for free? Don't have a clue about this place, do you? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do the hypnotizing thingy. Okay, so I can do that to him. I didn't mean to. That was, that was a bad part of my thing. What help could I possibly be to your business? That's simple. I already get good money from all those fleeing the war. Can you imagine what they'd be willing to pay if I could offer medical assistance to? Mr. Bates, do not make me regret saving your life in this quarantine zone. I understand, Dr. Reed, you're from a good family. Don't want to get your hands dirty. That's fine. I'll be happy to act as your middleman. I've no interest in money. Perhaps one night I will visit you and take what I require. If that should happen, there will be no need for a middleman. So it's a no, then. That's too bad. The reed tonic could have really helped people, you know, save lives. Isn't that what you do? I mean, people buy that swamberer's shit. What is your business, exactly? I offer fair lodgings for a modest price to the poor and weary of Whitechapel. I see. And what about those who cannot pay? Well, deals can be done, if you know what I mean. Money is not the only currency. After all, I'm not immune to a pretty face. That is really gross. In other words, you take advantage of these poor lost souls. Begging your pardon, I thought you was a man who could appreciate the complexity of the modern world. Things ain't just black and white, you know. Tell me, what's your honest opinion of the increasing violence in London? People are just beginning to discover what we've always known. This city's rotten to the core. They just took their bloody time to wake up and notice it. What do you mean? People are acting like the violence is news. But it's always been savage down here. It just bubbles to the surface every now and again. You seem to have recovered well since your attack. Do you ever think about what happened to you? Not much. It was a fucking nightmare. Savages. Absolute bloody savages. Their appearance. Jesus. It made me want to puke. You'd better not come back here. I won't be around next time to save you. Goodbye, Mr. Bates. Dude's kind of an ass. But unfortunately, it's a doctor's duties to help people even when they're shitbags. It's locked, all right. I mean... The only thing you can hope is that they get tried in a court of law and yeeted into jail. Why am I going up? I mean, I guess I could go up. Yeah. Where's that dude? 
he's recovering. No one's there. Can't enter an empty house. The Who house. distributes flowers at this hour of night? Its effectiveness has been proven by many. Even the flu is no match for the Swanborough Cordial. Is this where I came from? I don't know. I really wish there was a teleportation system. If there is, though, I don't know about it yet. It would be nice if I could think. Does anybody know if there's a teleportation system? And if so, can you guys let me know in the Flowers chat? At this hour of night. Like in the like I don't know. I just would like to know. Doesn't seem bad. Who are you? Welcome, sir. Please take a browse of my wares. I am Doctor Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Doctor, interesting. I'm Barrett Lewis. Usually I don't have time to waste with talk, but at this hour of the night I can hardly refuse. Hmm. How is business around here? Business? I have no business. Between this racket, theft, and customers getting scared, I'm losing money every day. I see. Sounds like you blame someone in particular for your situation. It's no secret Joe Peterson spends his time harassing merchants. But with me... He's trying to put me out of business once and for all. Peterson? As a merchant, you see Whitechapel every day. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary recently? Well, you mean besides the epidemic, the war, and all the usual crap? As long as I can remember, this part of town has been a bottomless pit and no sign of the bottom yet. Violence is increasing in the borough. Yeah. A few nights ago, some blokes jumped me. Came out of one of the condemned workshops. Fever. Madness. Something like that. Where did this happen? Why did you go there? In the closed workshops nearby. I worked there as an apprentice in better days. Now I only go to find trinkets or tools. Too bad I was mugged, though. There was good money in that little box of loot I lost. Have you been hurt? No, but that's only because I ran like hell. Those men were raving lunatics, I tell you. Not even able to speak anymore, just screaming. Those were shrills. Have you heard of a nurse called Dorothy Crane? Nurse Crane? So the bitch really is a nurse then. Always thought she was just some crafty foreigner, that one. Yes, she's a nurse, and quite a good one. What did she do to gain such notoriety? Dorothy Crane ain't even a real name. Something like Dorothea Craniu. Something like that. Came to England fleeing the war, I was told. That doesn't explain why she irritates you so much. Your precious nurse Crane gives away medical supplies and prescriptions for free. I offered to sell it for a fair cut, but no, Miss Crane wanted to play the quiet saint. Damn. Learn some things about peoples. Okay. Right then. Show me what you have. I'm supposed to be the good one. Well, this guy got some good shit too that I could deal with. Huh. That's, I think it is some things I don't even have. Um, let's sell some stuff that I don't need. Honestly, I don't need the steak. It gives me a little bit of money. Um. Don't. Hmm. 
even... I really don't even use the gun. So what's the point of keeping it, you know? But I guess I'll keep it just for now, just in case. What do I have? Quarantine. I'm trying to see all the stuff that I have and kind of memorize it in my brain. So I can buy stuff that I don't have. I, th I think I have that one. I think I have that one. That one. This one I don't think I have. And that one. Hold on, let me check. Eat. Hmm. Eat. Okay, so I do have those. Um. Just buy. I can't buy anything else. I'm broke. Oh, you can rebuy back the stuff too that you sold. Interesting. I don't know why that guy's face like kind of creeps me out. I should never have taken up my suffering in this world. Excuse me, sir. I have a few questions for you. Another journalist? I didn't answer the first one, so piss off. I'm not a journalist. I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. Really? But still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed, at your service. I'm Joe Peterson to some, but Colossus Joe to most. And I don't remember asking for your service, sir. This dude's fine. Have you heard of a nurse named Dorothy Crane? She's a colleague of mine and is supposed to live around here. Dorothy Crane? Yeah, I'll know her. One of the few good souls who dare to help the sick around here. Could you please tell me more about her? She's a nice girl. Tries to help the migrants. I offered to give her a hand, but she said my reputation would attract too much attention. Hmm. This guy was mentioned. That dude has a migraine. He's getting healthy. He is healthy. There's other people I need to deal with. Mm, I need to deal with all these people, which I haven't even talked to. Yet. Everybody looks to be healthy here, except for these two people I don't know. Um, I need to give him something for fatigue. And this dude, something... Um, there's more people down here. May I ask what you do around here? I'll do whatever I want, and sometimes even more. Now sod off. Rude. According to you, physicians are scarce in this part of town. Why is that? Not familiar with this neighborhood, are you? I guess your fancy colleagues are too afraid of being stabbed in the back. This part of town does have quite a reputation. Would you say it's justified? Totally. Look at me, for instance. I always look my opponent in the eye before knocking him out. How did you become the local bully everyone is afraid of, Joe? There's no pride in roughing up poor bastards. But this is the only job I've found. And it pays well, too. A job? So you're racketeering for someone else? I got enlisted by the Wet Boot Boys, a gang from the docks. I'm their muscle for their dirty work. Hmm. Most people don't become thugs when unemployed. 
This is a choice you made. I don't care what you think, sir. I'll do what I have to do for my own reasons, and that's that. I'm not sure Mr. Lewis would agree with your by all means necessary philosophy, sir. Oh, do you really think he's the poor victim here? Barrett can be as sneaky as anyone. Long ago, I even called the bastard my best friend. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. All right. You look so pale, my lord. Would you like me to revive you? Someone I haven't talked to yet. Don't be shy, handsome. What can Christina do for you? I'm not looking for what you're selling. But I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I may. I'm a doctor. Dr. Reed. All right, then. But be quick. Though I usually get paid when I open my mouth. Uh, I don't know why, I just remembered like a scene from the nanny when Niles um, pays, I think, the hooker or the stripper, no, the hooker, some money to like pretend that she knew Cece. <laughs> and it was hilarious. Christina, have you been examined? The epidemic is spreading fast in London, and you could be exposed, or expose others. I don't like doctors or hospitals, but I don't like you asking questions. Rude. Ah, oh, she's fatigued. Hmm. Considering your line of work, I assure you it is only a matter of time before you have health issues if it is going to happen it will happen right now i need money that's what's important <laughs> you can put your own life in danger that's your decision but what about your clients if you're contaminated you will put them in danger too and you think that would worry me <laughs> if you knew the men i deal with their health would not be what you'd worry about hmm. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Anything you can tell me about her would be helpful. I don't know her, but I know her name is Dorothea Krasionescu. She came from Romania like me and many others. You seem to respect her. Dorothea helps the sick people of Whitechapel. Everyone should respect that. That's those are they? Tell me about yourself. Are you joking with me? People don't usually come to see me for conversation. I have no interest in your work. I am, however, curious as to what led you into this career. <laughs> Short story. The war, exile, and England. This country is not especially welcoming. I've been refused many jobs because of where I am from. I had few options left. I don't judge you. Uh, I feel like she really should try to find another job. And I I don't want to say, oh, I don't judge her. I do judge. I'm a very judgy person. A lot of people judge. But she should try to find a job. I mean, for, it was her decision to do that, but I don't feel like that's right, you know? And it's like, I also worry... Because a lot of people who do that type of thing do it because, you know, they're so down on their luck. And I'm sure you could have found another job, perhaps less lucrative. Maybe you should try again. And when exactly was the last time you looked for a job? Or worried about the rent, or what, or when you were going to eat? She does have a valid point, but there's always... I don't know, maybe... Do you need any assistance, Miss Popper? It depends on the price of your medicine. I am shocked that you would think I am that sort of man. Forgive my suspicion. I'm so used to liars with good manners. Thank you, sir. Like, all right, so. I don't know. I wouldn't. Goodbye, I don't want to take advantage of people. Take care of yourself as best you can. Like, 
but I do get where she's coming from. She's like, how yeah, you pay all the jobs and stuff like that. And but then again, I like she came from one nation to another one with no backup, nobody to lean on to. So I can't be fully Forgive my interruption. That. Do not apologize, my son. Father Tobias Whitaker is always happy to teach mortals about the incoming Armageddon. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, and I just have a few questions. A scientist? You are much more lost than I thought, my son. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Actually, anybody I'd like to know more about her. I don't like the liberal ideas of nurses. But I especially abhor that Nurse Crane you mentioned. This guy's kind of a douche. But the thing... The thing is, most scientists have been Christians because... You know... What's... You know, the way I see it... Is science is a, the Lord's gift. After all, he knows how we are. And you can't... Put a baby in a box and tell him not to do nothing. But uh, whatever. So you're not exactly a fan of Florence Nightingale's work. But nurses are essential for modern healthcare. Nuns should be the only women allowed to take care of male patients. It's obvious only they have the necessary moral fiber. Why do you hate Nurse Crane more than other nurses? Before coming to London, she was a member of the communist resistance in her country. That's what happens when you let a woman get involved in politics. Wow. Wait, did he say she was... No, the communist resistance. Is that... Yeah, that's, if if I know words right, it's saying she's a commie. What the fudge? What do you mean when you say that I am more lost than you thought? All scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences, and most of them can't see the plain truth. Quite a judgmental opinion, if you ask me. But what do I know? Blinded by science as I am. Well, you are seeking answers, aren't you? Answers about the Armageddon about to strike the city. Answers about the hidden truth. Well, I suppose I can spare a few minutes listening to your so-called truth. Okay. As a doctor, but... you must be aware of the decimating epidemic. But let me tell you that this so-called Spanish flu if he's it's gonna the mention the plagues... The what do you mean? The beast is finally revealing itself, corrupting the flesh and the heart of men. With my own eyes I have seen them, those minions from the abyss. Ah, I think he's, um... Really? One of those, um... And what would be your the end is here people. Biblical. We must fight the disease before this legion outnumbers us. But not with scalpels and microscopes. No. What is left then? Cleansing fire. Tell me, Tobias. What exactly is your plan concerning the cleansing of this city? God will recognize his own. More than once, this city has risen from the ashes, hardened and purified by the flames. <laughs> this is the 20th century. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh. Where are the limits? Purification by fire has proved useful, but where do you stop? Burn the clothes, the buildings, the corpses, worse? Your lack of faith is predictable. But my task is to convince rational minds like yours to see the light. This is God's will. Your man mad cannot judge. And dangerous. You're nothing but a soulless butcher. 
Indeed. A small time Torquemada, the Savonarola of Whitechapel. My son, if you think salvation is a free gift, go listen to the lies of that pompous fool, Joseph. Joseph, a fool? Vicar Larrabee of St. Mary's Church. While he continues preaching his fraudulent redemption, more and more people die in the streets. What do you mean when you say that I am more lost than you but thought? Yeah, I All don't... scientists are entangled in a world um, of causes and consequences. Man cannot judge, and most of them can't see you know, the plain truth. another a man. Only the Lord can me. judge. But what do I know? Even though Blinded humans do tend to judge. Well, you are what is considered answers, evil? You? What is considered good? Good is what considered whatever the Lord the city. views as good. Answers about but the what truth. the thing about evil? Where do you stop at that? You know, every per like every person has thoughts and you know, um, well, and whatnot. And it's just really hard for people to so you know truth. understand that you must man cannot really truly judge. Academic certain things because it's too so much and you know we are it's imperfect creatures of the end. what do you mean how, how can we be the ones to say what's right or wrong corrupting the flesh when and the heart there's blurred men. lines on some things with my own eyes i have seen you know those minions like don't get me the wrong there's things where we can easily say that's bad that's bad and that's bad but there's some things like lying is kind of like bad and it's evil but humans are not do that it's a natural thing we do i have heard enough goodbye um and honestly it's, i don't like this guy either he's one of those fake um believers and stuff who kind of believe like they're the they're one of those fake christians who claims i heard the sound of the shrill um i'm gonna go fight that in a bit but um for now tiny says jibby's is signing out though